energy-saving LED technology has been in the limelight is the best way to reduce the electricity demands of residential and commercial lighting. But how safe are LED lights? A vision researcher from Complutense University in Madrid reports that exposure to LED lights can cause ira. LED lights have been criticized by people who are worried they'll cause damage to the retina of your eye. Accumulation of cellular debris called lipofuscin in your retinal pigment epithelium is responsible for the damage. However, the amount of harm an LED lamp can cause depends on the built-in protection of the product, according to Dan Roberts, Director of Macular Degeneration Support, a non-profit organization based in Missouri. LED are directional lights, meaning they don't radiate light 360 degrees like CFLs do, notes the Environmental Protection Agency. Blue light waves are more likely to cause harm to the retina among people who are prone to macular issues due to aging, environment, genetics or health habits. More commonly called LEDs, are used in a variety of ways, including in automotive and home lighting, video displays and traffic signals. Modern day humans have their eyes open for roughly 6,000 hours a year, and are exposed to artificial light for the majority of that time. She suggests wearing good quality sunglasses with UV filters, and eating a diet rich in vitamin A to protect the eyes from retinal damage. Red LEDs are made from a toxic substance called aluminum gallium arsenide, or AGA. LED lights are actually less likely to cause adverse health impacts than other high efficiency bulbs such as compact fluorescent lights, CFLs, because they don't produce what zapped author Anne Louise Gittleman refers to as dirty electricity. If you choose CFLs over LEDs, you can combat dirty electricity with filters, notes Paul Henderson in the Vitality magazine article, Why Your Appliances Might Be Making You Sick. Some people are more prone to be affected by dirty electricity due to electrical hypersensitivity, or EHS, Henderson notes. According to the World Health Organization, EHS is characterized by a variety of symptoms that are non-specific and differ among individuals. WHO says the symptoms are real, and can even be a disabling problem, though they may be due to other environmental factors like poor indoor air quality or poor ergonomic design of computer workstations. No diagnostic criteria for EHS existed as of 2010. WHO advises doctors to focus on health symptoms rather than a person's perceived need for eliminating or reducing exposure to dirty electricity. We say, no it is not harmful but, do not stare on LED lights directly for longer duration.